All right, in today's Quick Tip Tuesday, we are gonna be talking about getting smoother and cleaner audio in Premiere in one click. More specifically, we're gonna be talking about audio transitions. A lot of you are shooting talking head bits like this where you're doing a lot of jump cuts or you're shooting vlogs where you're doing jump cuts and when you have a bunch of clips near each other that might not have the exact same audio levels, you hear weird or clicks. And we're gonna fix that today. And another Quick Tip Tuesday brought to you guys by the leader in licensed music for YouTube, Epidemic Sound. They're the soundtrack for every video on this channel and just in general, they're super dope. If you guys need super sweet music for your YouTube videos, second link in the description, there's a free trial. And lastly, before we jump into today's video, a quick note to respond to a comment from last week's video from, from Rohan Patil. He said, all over the world names six European countries. First off, we've now shipped shirts to seven countries, including the US, so six other countries outside of the US, but seven countries total, the US, Thailand, Singapore, Japan, the UK, Norway, and Germany. So from Asia to the US and Europe, that's all over the world. Long story short, nanny nanny boo boo, stick your head in doo doo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, Rohan, but I am super, super grateful for you guys. This channel just crossed 40,000 subscribers, but I know it is still a super small, teeny tiny channel in the grand scheme of YouTubery, which is exactly why I'm so excited that shirts have shipped to 20 US states and six other countries. Today's shirts went to Paul from the United Kingdom. Thank you, dude. Uh, ooh, Tabat? Tabat from Japan. Sorry if I don't know how to say your name correctly, but thank you. And Merleon from Singapore. Super cool of you to order a shirt from Singapore. Just in general, to anyone that has ordered a shirt, thank you so much. That is, that is super cool and I'm super grateful for you. And if you haven't ordered a shirt, first link, in the description below. Okay, in today's quick tip, we are gonna be jumping into Premiere Pro. I'm gonna pull up one of our Hawaii videos, the same one that we worked with on the GoPro edit video, and we're gonna find some of those spots where, where we hear weird popping or clicking, and, and we're gonna fix it with one easy, easy step. Okay, here we are in Premiere Pro, and the most important thing to setting this all up is to go into our preferences. So we're gonna go into our Premiere Pro at the top, click on preferences, and we're gonna go down to timeline. Once this pops up in the preferences panel, we're gonna look at our audio transition default duration. And we're gonna be super simple here, and we're gonna set that to two frames. So it's gonna be a very, very short audio transition, just two frames. Once we've confirmed that that is our default audio transition time, two frames, we're gonna say okay. We're gonna go to our effects panel, wherever you might have it, and we're gonna type in constant power and this is gonna pop up. If you do not have this with a little blue box around the gray, you need to right click and say set selected as default transition. This is gonna tell Premiere I want that to be my default audio transition and we've already told Premiere that we want that to be two frames. So right now we have a constant power audio transition of two frames as our default. And once you have that set up as your default, today's fix is, is super easy. So let's go into our video here and we're gonna listen through this clip here where I'm walking, there's a lot of ocean noise in the background and then the very next clip is of Morgan and Eleanor on the beach but now the camera's facing the other way so that ocean crackle, that noise of the ocean is gone and that causes a weird pop in the audio. Listen, listen closely. Hey dad. You hear that? I'm gonna play it a couple more times just so you really pick up on that So how do we fix the pop? How do we make it so that it goes from one audio level to the next smoothly? Again, super simple, the constant power audio transition. Now there's two ways to apply the constant power audio transition. One is I go back to the effects panel, I grab it and I physically bring it down here between the two audio clips and I, and I let go. If I zoom in, I can see there's our constant power audio transition right between those two clips. But the much simpler way, I'm gonna delete that, is to select both clips and then hit Apple Shift D. 
and boom, that applies your default audio transition wherever you have it selected. Let's go ahead and listen to it with constant power applied. Super smooth from that loud ocean noise to more the quietness where Eleanor and Morgan are hanging out. You don't hear that again without it. I'm gonna go ahead and click it and delete it. We'll hear it again a couple times. That big pop. And one more time, I'm gonna select both clips with shift, hit command shift D to apply my audio transition and it's smoothed out. Oh. So smooth and easy. But then you say, I have to physically do that for every single time that I'm gonna go through my video and say, hey, choose those two clips, hit command shift D each time. Nope. As long as your audio is all on one track like this. So all my actual clips where I'm cutting them together are all on one track. My music track is down here. I can go to the very beginning. I can hit A to bring up my track select forward tool. I can then hold shift and that's gonna select just one track. Click on that audio track. It now selects all of those. I hit command shift D and voila, I have placed a audio transition of two frames, constant power between every single one of those clips. So this is a step that I do on every single video that I make. I make the entire video, I don't worry about the pops and clicks, and as soon as I'm done, as soon as I'm ready to export it, the very last thing I do is go into that final track, I select all the entire track, hit Command Shift D, and boom, my entire vlog, my entire video has perfectly smooth audio transitions from one to the next. And they're barely noticeable because they're only two frames. And you might say, well, why would you put one somewhere that it doesn't need it? And it's because it doesn't matter. If it needs it, it makes it sound better. If it doesn't need it, you don't hear it at all. So set up constant power as your default audio transition, go into preferences, make sure that it is two frames long and use command shift D to apply it to uh, everything in your video. And that will give you cleaner, smoother audio for your videos with one simple key press, technically one click, it's technically three fingers, but you know, one click. <laughs> and that is your quick tip for the week. I'll see you guys, I'll see you guys next week. I have things to talk about. I'm very excited about this week in particular. I think there's gonna be a Thursday and a Friday video. You know, we'll see, we'll see. I'll, uh, I'll see you soon.